my wash and go, I'll be using The Conditioner by Paul Mitchell as my leave-in and Eco Styler Gel Argan Oil. I start with the back section of my hair, applying my leave-in and detangling this section as thoroughly as possible. I should note that my hair is still very wet since I just washed it and detangled it in the shower. I start with a very small section in the very back, take some of the Eco Styler Gel, and start applying it at the root and smoothing it through. As I'm smoothing it through, I'm raking my fingers through to remove any additional tangles. The more tangles you remove, the more defined your curls will be. So I'm raking and smoothing and removing tangles as I go. When I don't feel any more tangles and I feel like my hair is coated pretty well with the gel, I move towards the ends. I'm just applying any additional gel if I need to, making sure that the ends are coated and sealed. I smooth the section one last time, promoting the hair to clump where it wants. I repeat those steps on the next section. I do some light detangling, then apply gel to the section starting with the root. I focus on the ends making sure that they are sealed and the curls are popping. Then I move on to the other sections. Now for the front. The front section of my hair gets very dry, very tangled, and unmanageable so I have to be very careful and this often takes a longer period of time because there's so many tangles and it's so unruly. I divide this section in half again because I want to work with smaller sections at a time. As I start applying my gel, I apply it underneath as well, making sure that I coat this section very, very carefully because if I don't, as it dries, it will revert back and become very frizzy. I need to re-wet this section because it's gotten a little bit dry and I want to work with very wet hair. The reason that I want to work with very wet hair is because when I apply the leave-in and the gel, the gel is going to hold the hair exactly how it is when it's wet. Using the gel, I smooth down my edges. section re-wetting as you can see at the roots is starting to get a little dry and frizzy apply more leave-in then smooth that through detangle and then work with smaller sections As you can see the top part of my hair is a looser curl pattern so I have to do a little bit more to get my hair to curl so I kind of do this scrunching at the bottom and now I'm just applying gel to the top to get all that frizz to lay down the frizz from my roots I'm gonna go through and do a little bit of separation so that my ends don't dry stuck together like that and then I'm going to define my part, so to speak. 
by bringing the side over and applying a little bit more gel to my edges. Smoothing any other halo hair down. And that's how it looks in the back. Now it's time to diffuse. I put my diffuser on the low heat setting, then dry, rotating the diffuser all over my head to get as much dry as possible. My hair would take days to dry if I went with air drying alone, so this is how I get it kick-started. Flip my head over to get the back because there's just so many layers to my hair that I have to get it from both angles. And I move it around my head, get in the ends as well. And this just allows the gel to set the hair in the curl pattern that it is now. Once I flip my hair back over, I fluff it. And then I start to remove the gel cast. The gel cast is that hard, crunchy feeling that you have on your hair when you put a strong hold gel on it. So by scrunching and smoothing, that removes that cast and allows your hair to finish nice and soft. But you still get the benefit that the gel provides by setting your hair in that curl pattern with very little frizz. smooth at the roots and I'm all set. What do you think? My hair gets lots of shrinkage but I don't mind it. 